U.S. encourages Germany to send long-range missiles to Ukraine. The U.S. hopes that its recent decision to send longer-range missiles to Ukraine will inspire Germany to follow suit. However, Berlin has long remained reluctant to donate its Taurus missiles that can hit targets at ranges of up to 500 kilometers. TV5 Mond reports on the issue of the Taurus, it's a decision for Germany to make, a senior U.S. defense official said, speaking on condition of anonymity. But of course, with the U.S. supply of ATA CMS, as well as the previous decisions of the U.K. and France to supply long-range missiles, we obviously have the hope that this will play a role. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said that Europe must continue to step up its help for Ukraine even after the approval of a big US aid package but made clear that he is sticking to his refusal to send Taurus long-range cruise missiles to Kyiv. But I also want to say clearly that the United States' decision doesn't release us here in Europe from the task of further expanding our support for Ukraine so that the country can defend itself against the aggressor, he said. Scholz has adamantly refused to send the German missiles to Ukraine, arguing that it could lead to an escalation of the war or even draw Germany into direct conflict with Russia. Washington confirmed it had given Kyiv this month long-range ATA CMS missiles with a strike range of up to 300 kilometers. France and the United Kingdom had also supplied Kyiv with long-range scalp and storm shadow missiles which can strike up to about 250 kilometers. Ukraine has been arguing Germany to donate Taurus cruise missiles for Kyiv to use in countering the Russian offensive. But Berlin has so far refused to send any of those, fearing an escalation on the part of Russia. The Taurus cruise missiles fired by fighter jets are roughly the same length and weight as the UK's Storm Shadow and France's Scalp EG. An operation was carried out on Thursday to save over 100 whales from a mass stranding at a beach in Western Australia's southwest. The whales were trapped in pods spread across 500 meters at Toby Inlet near Dunsboro, south of Perth. Up to 160 whales had beached themselves at Toby. Some 130 stranded whales were returned to the sea, however, 28 whales died, according to the Department of Parks and Wildlife Service Western Australia DPAW. A spokesperson for DPAW earlier confirmed that there were 20 whales in a pod about 1.5 kilometers offshore. Another pod of about 110 animals were together closer offshore. Ian Wees, chair of Geograph Marine Research Group that was involved in the rescue operation said it was an overwhelming sight. You can see how closely packed together the whales were. I've managed whale strandings before but nothing ever of this size, Wees told CNN. My initial reaction seeing hundreds of whales all bunched together on the beach was just completely and utterly overwhelming. It was really, really chaotic. However, the final result was good news, as often with these events, it is only possible to save a few, he stressed. It should be noted that at least 90 whales died in that stranding in July last year. Marine scientists and animal behaviorists believe that survival rates for beached whales as low as these mammals can only survive for around six hours on land. Thank <laughs> you.